Okay, recording this video after close of trade Wednesday, 4th of May 2011, and I'm always a bit too early on uh, my calls with a turn. I thought yesterday we might uh, kind of head back up into the 60s, but uh, we really needed to see this uh, kind of activity. This is exhaustion selling signal, uh, 2.1 million uh, contracts traded today, and this is kind of a similar type activity than we've seen before. You'll have you know, one of these kind of exhaustion selling uh, signal bars, a uh, white uh, bar on uh, better volume here. Uh, and we tend to get a little bit of a bounce uh, from these. As I said, I, th I still think uh, you know we're now the energy has moved to the downside, so I'm not sure how strong this bounce is going to be. Uh, but we saw quite a lot of um, you know kind of large volumes kind of going through, and, and a lot of kind of basing activity uh, holding the low today. Just look some other charts, um, kind of out of interest. Been talking about potential turns happening in the uh, dollar index bonds and so on, a couple of different things. Another kind of sign of strength kind of coming in on the dollar index. We had pointed this out a couple of days ago. We had exhaustion selling. Uh, we now, with today's activity, had the first blue professional bar uh, kind of on the lows, a down type bar. Uh, on the dollar index here, so again another kind of sign of strength. That's actually you know a pro signal exit. If you're kind of short dollar index, that's a time to get out. That's not necessarily a, a reversal point, but it's just showing a, a sign of strength. And you can see the same thing happening on the flip side on the euro here. So we had our exhaustion buying a couple of days ago. First blue professional bar on the highs, profits taking signal and so on. So that's a, a pro signal exit. Uh, kind of on on the way up for this move. So again, doesn't uh, necessarily show that there's a signal to reverse uh, at this point, but it just shows that there's a uh, professionals are starting to kind of take profits up at these highs. And dollar fifty on the euro's surely got to be a psychologically an important kind of point. Bond market also continues to uh, show a little bit of strength here. Uh, but you know, if we start to see a bounce in equities uh, tomorrow, the uh, uh, bonds might kind of roll over as well. Silver, just to look at the silver chart because we continued on down uh, the low today. Try and uh, get this. The low today, 38.94, and we're heading towards this cyclical turn uh, on silver. So it'll be interesting. We'll probably get some kind of exhaustion selling signal, uh, possibly on the downside here. Uh, cyclical turn, and that's where this uh, move will hold. Uh, I think a lot of the silver bugs, Peter Schiff, and so on and so on, you know, saying good good place to get in and buy silver. If you are buying, uh, planning to buy silver, it'll be for a, a pullback and an uptrend move to an end of trend. So, uh, but that the best place to do that is is when uh, you know we get a cyclical cross on this uh, daily time frame. Anyway, just uh, talking about um, e-mini longer term charts, 40,500 tip bar chart. You know, we had yesterday, we had the pullback and an uptrend and all these bullish divergence patterns today. Finally, get some blue professional bars kind of down here. You know, it was way too early yesterday kind of talking about this because we hadn't seen those kind of blue professional bars kind of down here. But we got all of that uh, bullish divergence. And um, if I'll just show you the 13,500 tip bar chart, we now has formed on this time frame end of trend warning signal here. So we had had the sell off. Uh, bullish divergence, flush signals. We come into the end of trend with all these bullish divergence signals. Look at all these blue uh, bars kind of on the lows, uh, kind of down here, which we didn't have yesterday. So, uh, as usual, I'm just way too early kind of uh, suggesting uh, that we might kind of have some kind of rally. And as a result of that, really, I was um, I was hoping to uh, catch this uh, low, this support level here. Then the ISM numbers, uh, non-manufacturing numbers, came out at 9 a.m. and we immediately fell through cyclical support on the 4500 tip bar chart. So we kind of fall, fall, fell into a, a downtrend at this point here. Didn't uh, get on board this move. Um, and let me just show you what I did do though. Um, made a mistake here on the 1500 tip bar chart. Tried to buy this end of trend warning signal here, and odd because you know after yesterday's kind of video I was saying it's like it's too early to, to buy into these moves when you don't see the professional activity at the lows. On this push down here we were seeing amateur bars, Rambo patterns down here rather than uh, blue professional bars. We hadn't seen enough professional activity uh, to stop this move. So uh, it wasn't until we saw this type of activity where uh, at 42 uh, the blue professional bars were coming out at the lows then we kind of push it down into 40 
uh, here again with exhaustion selling, and then finally down at 38. This kind of ratcheting pattern down, you know, after a trend move, we always get into a cyclical pattern. Don't expect the cyclical patterns just to be in some kind of, you know, horizontal pattern. We can easily have kind of a congestion zone here that's either kind of downward sloping or upward sloping, and that was what, what was happening here. Just moving between, you know, uh, a low here at 39 and a low here at 38, uh, the low here kind of at 40. I mean, just pushing down by a point, really, each time. But that's a consolidation kind of zone kind of going on there. It just happens, happens to be down down sloping. And for me, you know, trying to get long here was just uh, stupid, and I just uh, kind of got taken out on my stop here. But then as soon as we had this signal here, it was kind of nice on the 4,500 tip bar chart. We actually had exhaustion buying at this point here, blue professional bar at the highs. On the 1,500 tip bar chart, it was this turning point here, exhaustion buying, bearish divergence. And on the 500 tip bar chart, it was this point here, exhaustion buying, blue professional bars, Rambo pattern, final push up, uh, amateur up bars with a flush signal, and we sold off here and cracking move down. So I was able to rescue a little bit, uh, four points on this uh, nice kind of move downwards. And just for me, kind of reinforces when you start trading with the trend, you know, it all becomes so much easier. So uh, at least I kind of rescued a little bit uh, from that. But after that, you know, I'd, I'd overtraded by the end of the day. So I needed to stop. So I got out and I was only up for half a point uh, for the day. Um, I'll tag on, certainly tag on this kind of entry as this was happening. Uh, not a great day for me, but it's important to, you know, at least get out with par a little bit. So, you know, covered all my commissions today. But, uh, yeah, just psychologically, it's important when you kind of make a mistake like that to at least kind of uh, pull some of it back, I think. And, of course, this move wasn't over until we saw ta -da, a little end of trend warning signal down here with a flush signal, which is one of my favorites. Uh, marked the low of the day, and then we kind of rallied on. So I uh, hope you traded a little better than me uh, today. Um, and as I said, I think we're going to have a little bit of a bounce tomorrow because we've had this exhaustion uh, kind of uh, selling uh, on the downside. Short 43 even. I'm starting to overtrade at this stage, but uh, the reason for getting short, we just had uh, bearish divergence here after exhaustion buying on the 500 tip bar chart, exhaustion buying on the 1500, and we're coming up to a cyclical turn on the 45. Uh, it's kind of professionals and then rainbow activity kind of up here at the highs, so you know, um, good chance we'll kind of uh, head back down, but <laughs> good chance. Uh, not that I've been trading all that well so far today. Anyway, so short 43 even. Okay, bingo. I just got taken out at my target at 39 even for 4. And strange how it all comes together easily when you start trading in the direction of the trend. I was just trying to um, buy the low uh, when I look back at my uh, trades and that was just dumb. Anyway, so lesson learned for the day. Came out ahead by a half point, but uh, that was not good trading. Um, Going to take a good look at the charts uh, after the close today. Just interesting on uh, this last move down, so 1500 tip bar chart, push back up into 44 is being led by the amateurs here at this point here, bearish divergence, and then we kind of move down really quickly into this move. But you can see pro signal exits coming in here right at 39, which is where the target was uh, to get kind of taken out. Frankly, I don't know where it's going to go from here because we've had exhaustion buying on the upside on the 4500 tip bar chart. Time is running out for a kind of reversal day. It's 10.20 in the morning. Although, um, you know, you'd have thought uh, we'd have done uh, enough to kind of damage on the downside here. Looking at the 4500 tip bar chart, you know, we had flush signals and this one will be a, another kind of flush signal most likely to kind of down here. So, have to wait and see. Anyway, I hope you traded better than I did today.